You are watching another episode of Eclas, the podcast. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike Mendoza from Fishtails Motorcycle Magazine. We're here with another episode of Eclas. Today, I have the pleasure to be in Chicago, Illinois, with Tony James. He's a custom builder. We're here at his personal home, his personal shop, and we're going to walk around and show you all his beautiful motorcycles that he personally owns. So stay tuned. Check it out. So it's an 08 heritage that I put together. I don't think you'll see anything like it. Definitely fishtails. Right. It's not a Vikla style, but it's got a style of its own. Okay. I mean, it's Vikla style to me with, uh, you know, a little bit of kind of maybe some chopper love, whatever, some bobberish like you see, but uh, definitely. I get a little bopper cholo, cholo. on it. That's yeah, what they, yeah, they yeah. call it. Yeah. And that's cool. It, it's definitely, I love it. This is the first the bike I made, custom bike. I made the stretch tank. Them are actually clockworks fenders. Okay. But a favorite among the old timers. Okay. You know, people that dig that older traditional Harley style. Yeah, I like the, you have a black leather bag here with the red stitching that matches the red uh, pinstripe on there. I like it. It's Absolutely. Uh, How about the signature? The signature is unique. Yes, the, I got that, that on that two you? of my bikes. Whenever I stretch a tank, I put the signature on it. Okay, it's a Road Let's King. It. It's an 08 Road King to match an 08 soft tail. Okay. I paint them the same color, so it's like the dad and the son. Okay, you know what I mean? Perfect, man. Here's the first I consider true vehicle I made. Okay, so after meeting a bunch of different friends, I went this style, you know, pure white. I didn't extend the fenders or nothing, mm -hmm. but I still think it's a cool ass looking bike. Yeah. You know? No, it definitely has the look. That's pretty nice, man. So then I went to my first fishtail show. Oh, oh first fishtail yeah. show. Yeah, <laughs> and it changed everything. Right on, man. So I seen a bike with a dual exhaust like this. I said, I got to get it. You yeah. got to make it. Because you can't buy it. Right. The only way to do it is make it. So you made the exhaust, the bracket, everything you created it yourself? I fabbed it here in this shop. All right. What about these bad boys right here? So everybody had shotguns for the Harley, yeah. and I loved those, but I wanted to be something different. So I ended up getting some replica guns that actually work, but not don't shoot guns, bullets, but they work. Okay. You know, even so far as the clip comes out. Oh, wow. That's so, pretty, that's very cool. A little bit different than everybody else. Yeah. And that's my first Buffalo Beach Bars. Buffalo Beach Bars? Yeah. All right. What are those, 40s or whatever? What size I think are those? they're 42s. 42? They're drag specialties. Okay. But... I mean, I didn't know if I would like it, but I love them. Yeah. Um, you're running Psycho Smith floorboards. Uh, shout out to Psycho Smith. They are actually uh, one of our main sponsors of the Fishtails Magazine Super Show 2024. So shout out to you guys, man. I like them. They're the best boards. Right on. They're on almost every bike in the shop. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah, this bike's very, very nice, man. So that one, I went to a full Vikla bike. Okay. With the stripes, the lines, everything. I didn't do cycle smiths on these because I found these oversized Harley boards. Okay. And I just wanted a shield theme through the entire bike. If you watch, the shields okay. and the stripes run uh, all the way through it. Everything matches, I see. Okay. No yeah. controls. Everything's clean. Bars. Twist clutch, twist throttle. Where, where, everything hidden. Where, where would you buy the grips? I had to make them. You, you can't buy them. them. What? So I made them here on my lathe. Nice. And then sent them to California to get chromed. Okay. So it's what dual size, air ride. What size are you running the rear? 18, 18 26. 26. And then, uh, I'm sorry, you were saying uh, about the air ride? Front air ride and back air ride, both. Okay. And to do the front, I had to use an air tank because I couldn't fit another compressor. So I used an air tank. Okay. And just because I'm old and I liked when nitrous first came out, I made it a nitrous bottle looking. Nice. So it's funny when people come up and say, the bike's got nitrous? Yeah. I'm like, no, but <laughs> it works. Yeah. And uh, you painted this bike yourself, you said, right? I had a little bit of help, uh -huh. but I did all the lines, all the clear coat, the okay. design and everything is mine. But the day I shot the clear, I had a guy from Havana Customs come and help me do all the clear okay. or all the candy over it. Nice. So, all right. you know. And then next is something new. 
new new build you you yeah. want you want to show that or does that I don't that care. Right? I mean, it's up to you. If you want to see it, all right. It's there. It's it's going to be a monster soft tail. Let's go see what his next little project's going to be, man. Uh that one's going to top these? I don't know. You don't know? To be honest, the smallest green one we started with, yeah. is the most universal like bike. It seems like like old people, old ladies, kids, everybody loves that bike. Loves that one? It's amazing the attention that bike gets, even though these are really good too. Yeah, this red one I really love it, man. But yeah. um, so this is your next project. It's a Softail Deluxe. Yeah, O5 right? Deluxe. O5 uh, Deluxe. O5 Heritage. O5 Heritage. And it's going to be uh, 23. Uh, Rena from DNA. DNA. Uh, shout out to DNA. They're another one of my sponsors. So uh, they hooked him up. He's saying uh, you're running the 23 rear. 23 rear, 26, 26 front. 26 in the front. And it has to be a chain drive. Has to be a chain drive. And that's already ready. He has it here. Um, Just waiting on chrome. Waiting on chrome. I'm looking forward to checking out this bike when it's done. See how it sits. You know. I'll I, send I'm you a pic as I'm soon as I get it done. I'm sure it's going to look pretty, man. Yep. Thanks, bro. But uh, right on, man. You, uh, I want to thank everyone for watching another episode of E-Class, again with Tony James. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. We'd like to thank you for watching V-Class, the podcast. The Fish Shells Magazine World Pass Tour continues. Join us for the Reno Fish Shells Magazine Motorcycle and Bicycle Custom Super Show, September 28th at the Reno Sparks. This will be the place to be. Today, 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 today.